and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki and this is Mesomaholic and in today's video I am going to be making meatloaf but this is not my meatloaf recipe. I have Joanna Gaines to thank for this recipe. I went to the library before the whole like world shutdown happened and got stuck with this cookbook for like three months so <laughs> was flipping through and found this meatloaf recipe it was like one of the only recipes in here that didn't completely intimidate me so I decided to give it a try and now I cannot stop making it it is so delicious it is very easy to make and if I can make it basically anyone can make it so that is why I'm sharing it with you today for those of you who are stuck and can't run out and grab her cookbook um, I'm, um, I might try some other recipes in here, but girl, like I really want to do these biscuits and these donuts that are in here, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's just get into the video. So this recipe is coming from Magnolia Table, Joanna King's cookbook. The second book actually just launched and I'm pretty excited to check it out, even though I'm still scared to make half of these recipes but that's okay to start this meatloaf preheat your ovens to 350 degrees the recipe calls for a pound and a half but I use two pounds of ground beef a cup and a half of cheese this is one and a half teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper an entire sleeve of saltine crackers one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, is that how you say it? And a half a cup of tomato sauce. Two eggs. The recipe also calls for about a half a cup of onions, but we don't really do onions in this house, so we just skip that. So, just dump everything into the bowl. Literally. That's like basically it put everything into a giant bowl how simple is that like kids are behind you yelling and screaming your husband's asking you where the keys are for the 17th time and you've told him exactly where they were and he's just he's just carrying on you know life around you is just chaotic but you know exactly what needs to happen right here in front of you because you're just putting it into a bowl that's it done Ooh, this part is so much fun. Okay, so you just like smash the crap out of these crackers. The finer, the better. Just, just go. <laughs> I'm even having fun watching me smash these crackers. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost done, I promise. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is like the only real way to mix up meatloaf. Like I don't, I don't think there's another, there's like a tool out there or, or a gadget or something that will prevent this from happening, but you know, dive on in, mix it up real good and, you know, wash our hands. A 
Okay, so this is where my cooking expertise, like, fails me. If I don't put any oil down on this foil, then the meatloaf sticks to the bottom and we lose, like, half the loaf. If I do put oil down, then it, like, slides everywhere. <laughs> slides everywhere in the oven and I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I guess I prefer for it to slide around everywhere versus for us to like lose food. But anyways, take everything out and just make a nice giant mound on a baking sheet, which is even better because you don't have to have like one of those like weird looking bread pans because I mean, come on, like who really has those bread pans? Okay, probably a lot of people, but I don't have one of those bread pans. So when I saw that you could just make a giant mound, I'm all for it. Then you're just gonna put your meatloaf in the oven for one hour. I don't put ketchup on top of it at first. I wait until like the last like 20 minutes or so and then I put ketchup on top. And let's be real, there's no, there's nothing fancy about putting ketchup on top of a meatloaf. Just to squirt it on there. About two tablespoons. I forgot to get a picture before we started eating. There you go, delicious. That's it guys, that's all that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want some more cook with me videos, then let me know. I can't promise that if I do any cook with me videos, the food will turn out well. So watch till the end before you decide if you wanna like, you know, make it for yourself. Just because I'm not a chef, but I'm getting there. I'm trying and that's the A for effort. That's that's what matters deep down inside. Anyways, I always get sidetracked. I always just start rambling on. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, comment down below. Let me know. If you are new and you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you can get notified with every single new video that I bring to you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.